My name is Dave Vernoy. I'm a physicist in GE Spin Film Labs at GE Global Research. I work with a global team to create the world's next solar panel. The panel we have in mind not only maximizes the clean energy we get from the sun, but also reduces the cost of solar technology so homeowners and businesses alike can benefit. The process starts with having the best material possible. In this case, it's cadmium telluride. Cadmium telluride is a material that's known as a semiconductor, and it's really found uh, as a byproduct mainly from copper mining. It has extremely desirable properties for solar energy in particular. It absorbs light uh, very strongly. The main thrust of the work in China is to quantify the impact of impurities in the cadmium telluride source materials. We need the purest materials possible in our devices to make them perform optimally. My name is Michael Holm. I am a material scientist in Functional Materials Lab of GE Global Research, Shanghai, China. And the benefits of this work in China is that several very important supplies of both terrain and cadmium telluride are in China. It is helpful to have our local researchers investigating the impact of raw materials on our soil product. The team in Bangalore has an extremely rich history of materials and underlying device modeling, and that's, that's the aspect of the modeling that, that we're leveraging to really uh, draw out the best of the underlying material system. I'm Kamala Raghavan, a research scientist in micro and nanostructure lab at GE Global Research Bangalore. Our modeling includes electronic structure theory, microstructure evolution, and continuum theories for transport. The modeling capabilities we have here along with experimental data from Prime Star and Global Research Niskayuna, will help us correlate the physics to the device performance. Uh, such studies, along with predictive models at subatomic level, will enable us to build transfer functions in order to optimize device performance and move towards higher efficiency. In Munich, the heart of the global solar industry, we have world-class indoor and outdoor test facilities my name is Omar Stern. I am a lead scientist in the Renewable Energy Systems and Instrumentation Lab at our European Global Research Center in Munich, Germany. Germany is the world leader in photovoltaic systems, and 50% of all worldwide installations are in Germany. And therefore, we're in a unique position to leverage this knowledge and bring this technology into other parts of the world through GE. In Niskayuna, we have a team working on all facets of the thin film module development the digital detector we developed to make digital x-ray possible in healthcare, the thin, flexible OLED lighting panels that will reinvent lighting, they all have technologies that we can pull from to support our thin film solar program. How you develop and bring a product to scale is vital. That's why much of my time is spent traveling to Colorado to visit Fred Seymour and the team at Primestar. I'm Fred Seymour. I'm the Vice President of Technology for Prime Star Solar, and I lead the development of the cadmium telluride tin film photovoltaic technology. If you take one hour's supply of solar energy reaching the Earth, it, it supplies a year's worth of our, our society's energy needs. And what this means is if you cover 1% of the land mass with 10% efficient solar panels, you can meet 150% of today's total energy needs. And really all we have to do to make this work is to make this technology cost competitive. With the breakthroughs being made by GE Global Research, solar energy will go a long way to sustaining businesses and power grids around the world. The sun is always rising on the promise to deliver tomorrow's technology today.